à tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain, allumage des deux EAP et décollage. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Les paramètres à bord sont normaux, la propulsion est nominale. And we're off. Ariane 5, powering out into the night sky here at the Guyana Space Center. That streak of gold coming from those two powerful boosters. Just catching the sound of that now here, 15 kilometers from the pad as she flies over. And ATV Georges Lemaitre is on its way. Destination, our human outpost in space, the International Space Station. People in the viewing stations will have felt the ground shake. I've sent Charlotte out to go and watch the launch in uh, real life rather than on the screens here. So we'll wait to hear how she experienced it. Right now, the boosters are doing all the work. They're literally pushing us away from the Earth's gravity. That's what keeps us stuck to our planet. Makes it very difficult to leave as well. And we may get lucky and see those boosters falling away there with the naked eye. Each one is burning two tons of propellant. That's an awful lot of propellant per second two tons per second. Just to give you an idea, if you filled your car once a week, that's just about the amount that you would be using in a year. And we did see them separating there. Superb sight, the boosters falling away. And this, ah, there we go, the two dots on either side and the white dot in the middle de à bord sont is the Vulcan engine that you can see and those boosters falling back down. We're shedding weight. We don't need them anymore. We're losing each stage of the vehicle. Once it's burnt up its fuel, because of course the lighter we are, the faster we go. Right now, we've lost about three quarters of our weight in just over two minutes. So right now, the main stage is doing all the work and you can see its Vulcan engine there. That's the white dot in the middle and still a dot of booster falling Vous away to the left of the screen. Calme. Everything's going according to plan, he says. If you look at the bottom left, you can see our altitude is 106 kilometers above the Earth. We are at a distance of 232 kilometers if you were to draw a straight line, and our speed is 2.5 kilometers per second. We're now losing the fairing, and Charlotte has just come back into the commentary box, having seen her baby take off into space.